Hey everybody, sorry, I haven't had much time to shoot videos lately. Uh, and as a matter of fact, uh, uh, while I'm, I'm shooting this video, I actually should be printing printing out some shipping labels for some packages that are, which are taking off. But there's a rather big thunderstorm outside, so I decided to unplug all the computers and printers and TVs and such for a, for a, for a while. So in the meantime, I can shoot a small small demonstration video of a, of a of a thing I just just got done. And it's uh, you'll probably recognize it. It's uh, a KJ Hilt from from a recent mini 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 run I, I made, and the Hilt is is a little bit complicated. So I decided it, it, it's it, I thought it's probably better if I if I make a video of the of the properties of how how the Hilt works. And, and either either way, the electronic install in this Hilt is going to be challenging. And when I say challenging, I really mean annoying. Uh, let's go, let's go through some basics first, and, and it, 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 the hilt, hilt breaks into into various various components. It unscrews, for example, unscrews here, and the pommel also unscrews in case in case you want to, in case you want to install an SD card there. The, the inner diameter is, is just just big enough to hold a 2 watt bass speaker. It's about 28 millimeters. And and the most interesting feature in this this hilt is of course the quick lock mechanism, as you as you have seen in the in the in the trailer, I like that. But after that things get a little bit complicated. If you want to install electronics in this, there are some things you have to disassemble and quite the through. And for starters, the LED module sits here in the in the oh, that's too big in the plate holder section. It starts by unscrewing these two little screws here on both sides of the of the blade holder bottom, like that, and then the other one. They, this thing rattles a little bit when it's uninstalled, and that's that's just how how this how this hilt actually works. There's the LED module. The LED module has a has, has an external shell, and there's a heat heat sink inside, which on top, top of this you mount the LED, and you place it there and tighten everything with this. This procedure also already. Uh, that, uh, eliminate some some rattle. Then there is the uh, a plug, a wiring plug, which uh, which is held by a retention screw on, on this side, and you can remove it here, and like this. This is the female end. goes goes onto the LED module. Then once you have installed wire, wires and LEDs, LEDs and optics, you place this back. Here, and it is imperative that you uh, this this LED module is in is the right way here. If if you if you put it the other way, it doesn't fit right on the locking mechanism. So, but uh, also annoying is that you can't really know it until you have tried it. So let's give it the first try. The first try is usually the wrong one, but let's give it a try anyway. Well, that's too small. That I'm gonna bet ten bucks that this is the wrong way, but you're going to do the same mistake as I am. Hey, holy cow! It, it worked. It does. It, it was the right way. This way. Okay. Anyway, let's carry on. This is the blade holder end, but you'll need to wire everything on the on the on the male end, of course. On the male end, the card of the locking system is actually. Uh, it is it's a little bit more complicated. It starts by unscrewing this this nut here, like that, and then it pushes the piston out here. And the piston also has a has a retention screw here for the male connector. Now, are you are you keeping up with me? Thanks. Excellent. 
Now, once you have wired here, wired installed here, you'll just push it back. It takes a little bit of fiddling, fiddling to get right because the spring is a little bit tense. And then screw back this. And everything works pretty much as they should. Let's screw this back here and check out if everything still works. And they actually do. And after that, you'll probably want to take a look at the uh, LED, the, the control box, because it has a space for uh, two 3mm accent LEDs. And it starts by screwing this little set screw here in the control box. Then you can remove the cap and you see there is a plastic uh, plastic mount which has a holes for the for the 3mm LEDs. You can just unscrew the plastic mount and you can see there is a there is a hole hole inside for the for the wiring and there, there are a couple of channels for the LED. You just, you just push. This is the PVC is very soft, so you can just push the LEDs here and then mount them back. If you want, you could probably uh, buy some of this see this plastic seat, plastic PVC, off the eBay or somewhere, and 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 uh, cut with an exacto knife a new new mount. If you, for example, wanted to place an activation switch here, so it would be it would be pretty easy to make make an activation switch. Then you just place place the cup back and then cap back, and then you screw the holder holder set screw back like that. So I guess that covers pretty much the basics basics of this hilt. So 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 good luck with the install. <laughs> I seriously mean that. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.